to see what we can do in, in, the next, in the next 10 weeks. We're still taking it one day at a time. We're still pushing 1% better than you were yesterday. That 1% still never changes. It's still that extra 1% that I need you guys to give every single day, okay? So this is gonna be your introduction into the next 10 weeks. Um, I want my team in just a couple of short minutes. Um, team Flemington is gonna speak, uh, the members that are here on this, on this Zoom call with us, and I want them to share their story. I want them to share um, why they fell in love with the Max in the first place and, and how they came into, um, came into the Max. And I hope their words inspire you a little bit too and just make you smile. Uh, after that, a couple of your fellow Maxers are gonna get on and speak and share their stories and how their successes can hopefully become your successes too. That, that's the whole goal here. It's to pave the way for others to find success. Um, and I said in a, a video I did a couple days ago that, that I look at the Max as it's a lighthouse and it's a, and it's a storm on the ocean right now. Believe me, it, it's a storm on the ocean, but we use that lighthouse to guide us home and guide us down the right path and make sure we don't get lost on our way. Because if we do for a second, because it's really windy and it's really rainy and the things are going haywire, that's okay. Because the lighthouse never goes anywhere. It's still there and it's still going to light your way. Okay, so just keep in mind that that's, that, that's there for you. All right, so after, um, after some of your fellow Maxers hop on and share their story, uh, we're going to have my mom hop on a little bit and she's just going to briefly talk about nutrition. There's a lot of legacy members here. Um, so again, a lot of it's going to be stuff that you already know, and that's, it's going to sound a little bit familiar to you because you've heard it before. But again, take this as one big reset button. Take this as, okay, from here to Monday, this is my prep time. This is my ramp up time. And then come Monday, this is the mountain that I want to climb. And whatever information you get from here, whatever words you hear that inspire you, that make you smile, even just like a tiny bit, whether it's someone from my team, a fellow member, my mom, myself, anything, use that as the first like shovel full of coal into your fire. Use that to ignite what you're trying to do and come into Monday. And I promise come Monday, when that first Zoom call happens at 7.30 a.m., we're going, all right? It's go time and we're moving, all right? And we're always gonna keep improving. So that's enough about me. I wanna introduce my uh, team. I'm int gonna introduce you guys one at a time. Um, and I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mute myself and I'm gonna unmute them so that they can kind of share. Um, let me just see everybody who we got here. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna go with Basha first. Um, so Basha is actually coming up. Yeah, everybody clap it up nice loud for Basha. She cannot hear you right now. She can only hear us, but you see everybody clapping. There you go, everybody <laughs> clapping. Basha, um, she'll Hi. introduce herself, but she's one of your instructors. She's already unmuted, perfect. Um, she's actually coming up on her one year max anniversary with us. She was a, a member turned instructor, turned inspiration. So I'm not gonna say anything else. I'm gonna leave it up to you, but Basha, the floor is yours and I am mutant. So all yours, let's Thanks. hear it. Hi, um, if you don't know me, I'm Basha. I typically teach the 4.45 p.m. class and I occasionally do teach um, the 9 a.m. also. Um, it's been a crazy, crazy journey for me. Um, actually, a year ago, I took my first trial class at the Max. Um, I'll probably never let Ari live it down that he wasn't there. Um, but Roxanne, you gave me an amazing first day. Um, a lot of you on the Zoom chat were actually there on my first day. Diane Kovacs, you're my first partner, so always love to you. Uh, but it was just a, it was an incredible first day. The other day, actually, I was unpacking still things from moving in my new house, and I found this little plan that we did on my first day, and I still have it. And I was like, it just made me I actually cried because it just was cool to see how far um, I have come in the past year. Uh, after my first challenge, I, I was like on top of the world with like how I felt. I joined the Max because I was in very low state of um, emotion after having my daughter, having postpartum depression, anger, rage, literally every bad postpartum thing you can have, I think I had. Uh, so that was like my main goal to like why I want to join because I want to lose weight and I wanted like my mental health to be a little bit better. And I think after two weeks I was hooked. Um, like the third weekend, I secretly asked this girl, Paige, who goes to nine and 4.45, I was like, what do you do after your 10 weeks? Like, what's the next step? And she was like, oh, you become like a legacy member and like you just pay monthly. And I was like, oh, cool, I'm gonna do that like immediately. Um, and I don't know, like halfway through my challenge, I was like, it'd be really fun to work here. 
which is like totally out of my realm. Um, but yeah, I talked to Ari and one thing led to another. And after my first challenge, I started training to become a trainer here. And it has been the most uplifting thing I think I have ever done. Um, me and my husband actually were reflecting on my past year and he said the other day, he's like, I feel like you've always wanted to help people. And like, you've always been searching how you want to help people. And you've tried so many different things and some things just didn't work for you. And he's like, I feel like you've ever like genuinely found like your niche and like what you want to do and how you want to help people. And I was like, oh yeah, I, I really do think like this is like, I guess my calling or whatever you want to say, but yeah, it's been a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful journey. And um, I literally couldn't say enough great things about everyone, about Ari and Roxanne and my other fellow instructors and my maxers. Like you guys literally make my life happy and it's been a rough two weeks. I'm not going to lie for me emotionally. I am not good with my routine being thrown off. I am not good at staying home and doing nothing and going nowhere. Um, I, I need to go to the max. I, I need to go to the max. I need to go to Marshall's. Um, I need to go to ShopRite and not having those things in my life right now have totally thrown me, but, um, seeing you guys virtually face to face has definitely been like very helpful. So just keep at it. There are going to be days that are hard. I'm not going to lie. Um, but you, you honestly can do it if you genuinely put your mind to it. So thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Everyone clap nice and loud. Even if I can't see you, I know you're clapping on our system. Okay. So Basha, if you can mute yourself real quick, we're going to just move down the team. So Jess is going to be the next one. Hi, Jess. I'm going to unmute you real quick. Awesome. Thank you, Basha. Uh, so Jess has actually been with the Max Challenge of Flemington longer than the two of us have been with the Max Challenge of Flemington. Um, I know from Jess, not just from hearing about her first 10 weeks, um, but from seeing her not only work out to making people cry with laughter uh, during her classes that she teaches, um, the love that she has, not just for um, the people that she sees, but just everything in her life. There's, there's just, there's a, a passion to it and a love to it that's, that's unique. And um, it's something really special. And those of you who don't know Jess, I hope you get to know Jess. Um, and in these times, like, she's funny. She's so <laughs> funny. Oh my God. So again, this, these are just like the little things that um, you're gonna learn about these people and, and it's gonna make the difference in your day. This is, you know, if you haven't noticed it by now, just from like the banter that was before this whole thing started, it's, it's a family. It's, it's one big family and that's, that's why we're here. Um, so Jess, with that being said, with a big introduction, I'm going to mute myself. <laughs> And I'm going to leave the floor to you. So Jess, let's hear it. Thank you, Ari. Thank you, Roxanne. Um, so I started out uh, as a member uh, a couple of years ago. Um, I have congenital heart disease and exercising has always been a, how far do I push myself? So the max taught me how far you push yourself without, you know, without injuring yourself and without going, you know, overboard. It's the, what the max is for me. It's, there are so many different levels anyone can start out. It doesn't matter where you are. You could be someone who's never exercised before. You could be someone who has exercised every day in your life. And we all do this together. So that's, that's what the max is to me. And I, I gained confidence in myself. Um, I felt strong. I felt proud of myself. And, um, you know, and then I became an instructor and I, I, I really loved it. I, I have been taking a break recently because I have school and some other stuff but now things you know life has <laughs> gotten even crazier but this is the, I know this is a dark time for everyone but this the max has been a light in that dark time and we can do I am really grateful that you guys are putting the effort into the online classes that's been really important um, I've been able to exercise more during this time and so throughout everything in the past couple of years the max has been the light in the darkness and I want you guys to think about that. Think about, I mean, that's what the max means to me. And um, I can't wait till things get back to whatever new normal we have, but I am very grateful for this and to talk to you guys and see you guys. I was very, very excited for this. So, um, you know, let's clap it up for the max challenge of Flemington guys. <laughs> Jess, thank you very, very, very much. Um, and you alluded to it too, like the, the adversity that we've all had to overcome at some point in our lives, like everybody here 
what's special is that everybody here has a story and everybody here is, for, is here for a different reason, but the different reasons don't make any other reason any less special or any less important or any less impactful when we overcome them. Um, we're all doing it together. It's a different finish line for everybody else. So the finish line, it's different colors maybe, it's different, it's different shape, but it's the same finish line that we're all trying to cross together. Um, so from Jess, we're gonna move on to Brett. So Brett, where, there you are Brett. Okay, so, hi Brett. So Brett is another 10 week challenger um, turned into instructor, turned into absolute um, inspirations. There are first 10 weeks, um, it was like one of our first days and, and of your classes actually, Brett. And I remember, it might've been your first actually, my mom and I looked at each other and went, she's so bubbly. She's so happy. <laughs> she's so pot, like everything, everything you do comes with a smile and everything you do, you feel um, the sincerity and, and the genuineness in everything that you do. And again, I hope you guys get to know not only Basha, but Jess and Brett and see how special these people are. So Brett, I'm gonna leave it to you. Um, share your story with, with all of this kickoff that we got going on. Everybody. So I'm Brett. If you don't know me, I teach the Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday evening classes, the 6 and the 7.15. And I found out about the Max from Basha. I was watching Basha just transform herself and I had to know like, what are you doing? You look amazing. You're just glowing with this amazing energy. So my first day to go and check out the Max, I literally was like, I walked in the door and Roxanne was there and Ari was teaching the class and the energy that I felt and the positivity coming from the room was through the roof, literally through the roof. And Roxanne was like, do you want to sign up for a trial class? And I was like, no, no, I don't. I want to sign up right now. Like right then and there, like I wasn't even in the room for five minutes, I signed up because it's true. It's the, the energy, the motivation, the positivity, the inspiration. You can just, it buzzes, right? If anybody who's here at the Max, you know that it, we just, it buzz, this wonderful positive energy. So. For me, that's what I was looking for. I was looking for that incredible energy, something to push me, something to give me just a little bit more because honestly, I was at the gym that I was at, I mean, was not pushing myself. There was no inspiration, no motivation. I was literally, I would walk in and I would do my thing and I would like, oh, I'm sweating. I need to stop, I need to slow down. Boring. I was just bored to tears. And when I walked into the max, it was exactly what I was looking for. So that's how I started. And I started my 10 week challenge strong. I was loving every minute of it. And then Roxanne and Ari approached me and they said, would you ever consider teaching? And I thought, no, I never in a million years, like I say all this all the time, if you were to ask me a year ago, would I ever be teaching and instructing a fitness class? I would have said, you're absolutely crazy. There's no way I could never do anything like that. And here I am and I'm doing it and I absolutely love it absolutely love it it's my favorite job ever um it's just incredible it really is i've learned through this whole max um being a part of the max is learn to get comfortable with being uncomfortable to push yourself to grow um to develop into something and someone that you never thought in a million years you could do. Honestly, like I went in there looking for fun and a workout and I got that and so much more. I grew um, personally, emotionally, spiritually, like every aspect of life, it, it just, it changed in the positive way. Um, and I, I hope that I leave the max and I get that inspiration, that motivation, and I hope that I leave the max, I take that away with me, and I'm able to spread that into the world and to everybody that I come in contact with. It's like a domino effect, honestly. I really do believe that if you feel good about yourself, 
you can pass that along to other people. I always say like a smile goes a long way. You smile to somebody, it's like a chain reaction. Well, that's like the max, right? We, we go to the max, we work out, we get our power talk, we feel empowered, we feel great, we feel motivated. And then we go into life and we conquer it. And we, believe it or not, we might not even know it, but we're changing the lives of other people along the way. So even if it's not, you know, like within the max without knowing it, we're making a positive difference difference in uh, many people's lives along the way. So I just want to thank Roxanne and Ari. Thank you so much for seeing something in me that I would have never, ever, ever thought to see in myself in a million years. So thank you for pushing me um, into something wonderful and beautiful. Thank you for allowing me to meet all of you wonderful, beautiful people. You touch my life and make my life so incredibly wonderful every day. So thank you to you. And for anybody new who's looking to come into the Max and join the Max, don't hesitate for one minute, absolutely, positively, with no doubt in your mind, do it. Absolutely. So thanks again. And um, you know, like we were saying about the, uh, the this challenge being a little different, different's good. I think that we can we can take this on. We're in it together, and uh, who knows? Like I said yesterday, this will be the best one yet, right? Because we're the Flemington Max. That's what we do. We take lemons and we make lemonade. So uh, two claps for uh, the Flemington Max family, right? All right, we got this. All right, thanks, Roxanne and Ari. Awesome, thank you, Brett. Uh, so Brett said something that. I really want everyone to like take notice of different, but, but powerful and, it, and different doesn't have to be bad and taking the lemons, making lemonade. We all have lemons right now and that's okay. You know, we, we just have to make the best of the situation. And um, just because, like I said, just because the venue looks a little bit different, doesn't mean that anything changes. Doesn't mean the energy changes. All right. It's just a little bit different because now you see boxes instead of the people to your left and to your right. But again, nothing changes. So, Moving right along, we're going to go to Ruth, because she just hopped on. So hi, Ruth. Ruth is our 5 a.m. instructor, which she's going to say in just a second. And Ruth, some of your 5 a.m.ers are here, too, in support of you uh, and everything that you've done. So I want you to share your story um, and share the things that you've overcome and the things that you've achieved in your, in your Max history. Uh, let me unmute you. Hi, everybody. I'm Ruth. Um, like he said, I'm the 5 a.m. instructor. Hi, guys. Um, I teach people who get up between 4 and 4.30 in the morning. These are very motivated people, so my job is kind of easy. <laughs> um, they don't talk a lot or they talk a ton. Okay, so you have both types. Um, I started at, as a 5 a.m.er when the Max opened in Flemington. Um, I signed up four months before and was very disappointed that the town kept on pushing off the opening. Um, I was pretty much eating the, the correct way, but not the right portions. Um, I ended up um, starting in October of, I think it's 2017, and um, came to every 5 a.m. class until I got the flu. <laughs> um, and the, the last two weeks of my challenge were the flu, so I couldn't eat anything else anyway. So that first challenge was amazing. Um, the owner actually took most of my classes with me. Um, and um, I just loved it so much that when my husband said, okay, you're done. I said, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm continuing. And instead of um, paying the month to month, I said, I'm paying for the next year and I'm committing for the next year. Um, what a difference it made in my life. I chose 5 a.m. because no one in my family needed me between five and 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, <clears throat> that's the only reason <laughs> because my biggest excuse for working out was I'm taking time away from my family. So nobody needs me between that time of day. So that is why I chose to work out at that time. Um, I was asked to start training by, um, the previous owners and started training evening classes, um, and just loved it. Um, I have a full-time job. I work a long, very long hours, usually weekends too. Um, and it's not as satisfying as training people at the max. 
um, I have to find inspiration every day um, to give you guys, which makes me look into self and um, try to give you a little bit of um, a bright side to look at during your day. A reason to keep coming to the mats and keep doing nutrition but because as most of you know, the hardest part about this whole thing is the nutrition. Making sure we don't go to the cupboard and uh, I'm thinking of putting a, a sign on my refrigerator Every time I open it, I have to do 50 burpees. That way I'll stay out of it. Or maybe the cupboard, I'll do that. Um, so this challenge is, um, the reason why I did start is because I was very overweight. Um, I was running half marathons and not losing any weight because I was eating incorrect portions. So that's why this worked. I've done different programs in the past, exercise or um, weight loss programs, and I never did the two combined, and that's exactly what I needed. Um, plus the daily inspiration um, really gave me something to think about on my way to work in the morning. So um, I know this challenge is gonna be different. Try to um, go on to the live classes or on a class where you can see other people and saying, wait a second, they're not stopping, I'm not gonna stop. Really look into that for yourself. Um, put it on a schedule. Make sure that you make a schedule just like you do, um, just like we did at the beginning of this last challenge. Make sure it's a schedule. If it's not a schedule, you're just gonna keep pushing it off and it's gonna come to eight o'clock at night and you're like, I'm going to bed, I'm not, I'm not doing a workout. So make sure you put it on a schedule. Um, it's really important. And try to pre-plan your, your meals so that you're, um, you're eating, healthier than you would have if you just opened the cupboard and grabbed something you put there for your child. <laughs> All right, so that's it. On to you, Ari, and I always say it wrong. <laughs> I get yelled at. You Ari. Have, you have plenty of time to work. We're gonna figure this out. It's all good. No, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Only been here with you guys for a century. Okay, it's really fun. Okay, so uh, we're gonna do like a quick change real quick um, because I know Colleen has to get going. Um, so Terry, I want to have you speak in just a minute, um, but first I want to run to Colleen. Um, Colleen is going to share her story. Colleen has just finished her first 10 week challenge with us. Uh, so I want everyone on all the screens to be clapping, every screen, even if I can't see you, clap on her system. Um, so Colleen just finished her first 10 week challenge. Um, and I think she, maybe she'll say it, but one of the things that you said to me, Colleen, before I let you go, let you speak is um, that you didn't know what you were looking for and then you found it. Uh, and that was like your like second day that you said that to me, or maybe your third day. Uh, and I, I remember that 12 weeks later. And that just, that inspired me. Um, and it does every day. So hopefully, you know, I know your words are going to inspire somebody else. So I'm going to unmute you. Okay, so you're officially unmuted. Um, I'm going to give the floor over to you. What has your max experience been over the past 10, 12 weeks? Okay, first of all, I want to say hello to everyone. I miss you all so much. Um, I have to tell you that that place changed my life. It is so inspiring. It's life changing. Um, I've done everything. I've done isogenics, Weight Watchers, uh, Nutrisystem, everything. Yes, I lost the weight. Great programs. The minute I go off, I gain it right back. Um, I was looking for something. I was driving around in my car crying. Like here I am again, 30 pounds heavier. You know, I lose it, gain it back, lose it, gain it back. What else is there out there? Um, thinking about doing Planet Fitness was like, did that, done that. Uh, signed up for Weight Watchers again, never went. Then the next day on Facebook, I see the Max Challenge. I was like, perfect. I'm going to go try that. Um, I've done group, group classes in HealthQuest years ago, 20 years ago. And I really did enjoy that, but I did feel intimidated there. You know, um, I am older, I'm 56 years old. So I have that little bit of, okay, I'm older. What is out there for me? So I grabbed my daughter who happened to be home from college. Um, and I said, let's go, please come with me. I needed that push. She came with me. I opened that door and I knew right then and there, I felt that positive energy. I did not know a soul in that room, but yet I felt like I knew everybody. Um, it was a feeling I, I can't even explain. I'm sure you all have that feeling too. 
it just hit me and I just knew from that moment. I sat down, I listened to everyone speak. Um, and like Ari said, it was at that moment, I didn't know what the heck I was looking for, but there it was, I found it. Um, I didn't even hesitate. I told my daughter to get up, go sign me up because I want to listen to more. She got up, signed me up, handed her my credit card. I was done. At this point, I did write notes, so don't, you know, don't think I'm rude if I'm going to look at this. I just don't want to miss anything. Um, I realized that a diet is not what I needed. I needed to work on myself. I needed to get healthy. I needed to work out. Once I started doing that, my whole being changed. I am more positive. I'm happy. I actually feel good about myself. It's something I never have done in the past. Um, I wrote myself, this is my card that I wrote my first day. And yes, I feel better. Yes, I'm a lot more positive. Yes, I smile like I mean it. You know, you walk around, you smile, but now I really do smile like I mean it. Um, I did put that, I wanted to lose 20 pounds. Throw that away, it's not about the weight. It's about everything else from head to toe. I have found that out, but I did lose 15 pounds. I did lose 22 inches, which I had to subtract that about 50 times because I'm like 22. I even put out like a ruler and I was like, holy crap, like that's a lot of inches. Um, I did it, you know, I remember my first day you know, at the end I heard you do planks. I'm like, really? Those are like the hot guys and the young girls that wear like the matching little outfits do planks. I don't do planks. I don't even know what it is. So I walk over the wall, I do my little plank and I'm looking at the corner of my eye and you're all doing them. Every size, every age, you're just pushing yourself. Maybe you're not staying there the whole time, but you're doing it. So after a week, I'm like, I'm gonna try this. So I did my big 15 seconds on my knees um, and I have to say, after my 50 classes, I hit every class there is. I am on my toes and I'm doing a minute and 15 seconds in my plank, which I thought never in a million years would I be able to do that. I've never done one in my life. That was my crowning moment to myself. I have to thank Heather. I don't know if she's on here, but she pushed me to get to that minute. And ever since then, I've never gone under a minute. Um, you guys are great. I couldn't do it without my Max family. I really mean that. You know, you feel like you're down or you can't do it and you look over and you're sweating and you're pushing and it just gets me going more. You know, there's no judgment. There's no talking about anybody. It's just we're all in this together. No matter what your goal is or what my goal is, we really are in this together. Um, hold on. I want to check my notes. I gave you my card. Okay, now my next big goal is push-ups. Can't do them, try. <laughs> I think I can do two. <laughs> but by the end of this 10 week challenge, I'm gonna be doing 20 push-ups. I'm giving you my word right now. That's it, thank you everyone for this. And please stay safe, hug your family. This is a really hard time. Um, I am still working, I work for a hospital. It's scary, it's hard, um, but I'm doing it. And just stay safe, hug your family. And thank you guys for doing this online. I mean, it's a big help to me. You know, I can only do the recorded ones, but um, it definitely helps me. And I really appreciate it. All right, I can stay on for a few more minutes, but that's it, I gotta go take care of my dad. But love you all and thank you for pushing me. Thank you, thank you so, so much, Colleen. Thank you, thank Colleen. you so much. Um, and again, we all hope that you're staying safe and staying healthy and and, that everything's okay. Um, so cycling back from Colleen, and, and I saw while you were speaking, um, I see all the little screens down here and I, I see people smiling and I see people's heads going like this. And, and these are the, the things that you say are gonna be the things that push somebody, even if it's just one other person, but someone remembers the things that you say and remembers the successes that you've had, you now pave the way for people to follow you just like you did when you first started and that's, that's Phenomenal. And I want to thank you for putting in all that hard work. Okay. And I'm excited to see the 20 push ups at the end of the next 10 weeks. All right. I'm excited for it. You got it. You got it. Okay. So now cycling back to close out um, Team Flemington, I want to introduce Terry Valdez, who is right there with her husband, Robert Valdez. Hi, Terry. Hi, Robert. Uh, so I'm going to unmute you guys real quick. 
so Terry, this is actually kind of cool because um, I, Terry's kind of like a liaison between members and instructors. Terry's what we call a coach. Um, and Terry's sole job is to make people happy. <laughs> her sole job, and she does it famously. Her sole job here is to make people smile. Anybody that, that has ever met Terry, okay, that has heard Terry's name, that has seen anything involving Terry, it, she just, she makes you happy. She makes you happy. She's, I've never <laughs> seen Terry in a bad mood, like ever, ever. And I've known you for a while now, ever. See, she's smiling right now, ever. Um, Terry pushes herself like nobody's business. It's, it's, and, and everybody here um, that I've had the pleasure of either working out with or gotten a chance to instruct, um, you guys work so incredibly hard, okay? And the important thing to remember is that everybody's working out at a different, so incredibly hard. You know, that level 10, that, that peak, that optimal push, when we say sprint and you go as fast as you can, that fast looks a little bit different to everybody. But as long as you're pushing yourself to your level 10, remember that you're still getting stronger from it. Uh, and Terry embodies that. Um, the whole team here really truly embodies that. Um, so without further ado, Terry, you are unmuted. So I'm gonna mute myself and I'll leave the floor over to you. How are you today, Terry? I'm doing fine. How's everybody doing? <laughs> All right. Um, well, as Ari said before, you know, I'm, I'm not an instructor, but I'm a coach and I just love being there. What I want to talk about is how I got started. And basically, you know, life gets in the way. Life gets in the way all the time, whether it's like, you know, you make excuses. Oh, yeah, I'll work out. You know, Robert and I actually had a membership at Planet Fitness. And, you know, he would go in the evenings and I always made an excuse. And then finally, I looked at myself and went to, I got to the point when my bigger clothes were getting tight. I finally had to say to myself, look, enough is enough, all right? And then it just so happens my son, at the time, he was a manager at Joseph A. Banks, and he brought home this Max card, and he puts it on the table. He says, here, mom, you need this. <laughs> I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> so I called up Ari, <clears throat> and I think I left a voicemail or something. Long story short, he called me right up. Um, I had missed the Saturday uh, what was it, the Saturday class where everybody, you know, comes in, new people and everything. So what I ended up doing, he says, oh, well, come in on Monday. I came in on that Monday and I've been here for a year and a half now. So you don't realize how much the Max Challenge has really changed our lives. It's very important, you know, because even now before, and then I wasn't, you know, we were constantly doing fast food and doing everything. And, you know, Robert and I were empty nesters and we're like, okay, I'll just pick me up something from Burger King or whatever. Now I love it because the nutrition is so important along with the workout, you know? And then people here, people on this, this call, always posting great recipes. And that's important because now it's saying, I'm saying to myself, oh, I'll try this, I'll try that. I was just talking to Brett the other day and I was like, I'm going to try that vegan lasagna. Of course, my husband looked at me like vegan, ill, but we're going to try it next week. So we're going to go out and get the um, ingredients that we need. But <laughs> Ruth is shaking her head, no. <laughs> but anyway, but I just wanted to know, I made so many great friends. Like all of you guys here that's on the call, I mean, everybody, Janet. I come in the center and you're just like unbelievable, you know, and there's just so many people up there, you know, that I made friends from people that could be my kids age to people that are even, you know, a little more mature. <laughs> yeah, but it's wonderful. The important thing is that you keep at it. I, and, and as everybody was saying, yeah, this is trying times, okay? It's easy for us to say, oh, I'm not gonna work out. But having these virtual workouts, having the inspiration, having people follow each other on Facebook, having people to go outside, force um, Robert and I to go outside and get some fresh air and everything. So that's important. This place is a family. When I tell you it's a family, I truly mean it from, bottom of my heart. And I know I get choked up sometimes, but if it wasn't for you guys, you know, especially with the times that we have now, 
I don't know. You know, I could, I probably would go into depression or whatever. But you guys really help us. And that's important. So all I wanted to say is thank you. Take it to the max. I don't know what else to say. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Because even though I laugh all the time, I also am very emotional. So go ahead, Ari. Get Ari, me off the speaker. <laughs> I'm muting you. Don't worry. You're good. Terry, you spoke absolutely beautifully. Absolutely. And thank you. Um, and, thank you for everything. And if anybody knows about getting emotional, you know about me. <laughs> uh, on that note, before, before we move on and hear from a couple of the people, I, I just want to take a second now that um, the team that's on here, we have another instructor. Her name is Kathleen. She, she teaches 6 a.m. Um, her family uh, owns a butcher shop in, in Bridgewater, New Jersey. Um, as well, she's a, she works in the school system and her, um, her job is very hands-on. And for her to switching all that over to a virtual platform, um, it's a lot. That plus plus the butcher shop. So she's very overwhelmed. So she's you know she's taking a day to you know kind of focus on everything that she needs to focus on. But she sends her love. Kathleen sends her love, um, especially to Alana, Maritza, Ruth. She says you know she sends her love to you guys um, and to everybody here. Uh, but I want to take a second uh, and to Jill. You know, but what I want to take a second to to thank this team and let you guys know, you know, the members here can, can attest to it because I know they see it also. Uh, but for my mom and I, for you guys to come together, not just in the center when, you know, when things are going great and, and it's everybody supporting everybody else, but now when times are, are, are so tumultuous and things are so chaotic um, and to see you guys hopping on Facebook and, and interacting with the members and, and, posting recipes and doing your exercises and making people laugh and people smile and, and just giving that smile, that, that like priceless gift of one smile that I see you guys doing day in and day out. It means so much to, to the two of us. It is like, and we always say like, we, we see, we always see, we meet other franchise owners constantly. We have a call with them every single day. Um, we hear about their teams and we kind of just go, because we know <laughs> that's it. Just that. Uh, because we know how special this team is. And, and like Terry said, family. Um, so I, without getting too choked up, I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for continuing to be amazing, continuing to push, continuing to support uh, not only the members here, but, but my mom and I. So, so thank you. It really, it really means a lot. I have, I have something I want to say also. Um, I agree with Ari. We have the absolute best, best team here. Our instructors are amazing. Um, they've all been through this program, so they know exactly how you feel. They've done it themselves. They are experts. They can help with anything out there. And I'm sure you all feel how much they care about you. They, they love their job, and they love their members. So thank you, team, for anything. Seriously. We love you guys. We're going to clap it up for you guys. Thank you, guys. For the, seriously, for the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Um, so now we're going to cycle back to hearing some of your fellow Maxers and people that, you know, if, if you work out at the Max, maybe you've worked out with them in the past. Uh, if you're brand new, then you're going to meet them for the first time. And, and again, I hope their words make you smile and inspire you just a little bit. So moving on from Colleen, um, we have Carly that's going to speak in just a second. Uh, so I'm going to mute, unmute you real quick. So Carly, just like Colleen, uh, just finished her 10 week challenge, just rounded out actually week 12. Um, of her max experience over. Everybody clap it up, nice laugh for Carly. The same way you did for Carly and the same way you're gonna do for the last person who I'm gonna save, you know, for the end. Um, I've had the pleasure of being, um, you know, myself, Brett, Basha, uh, being, you know, Carly's instructor, being there with Carly throughout her, her 10 weeks. Um, the way I've seen you push, the way I've seen you change from the inside out, just from the start to now has been, I just can't put words to it. It's, 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 in, it's just inspiring and the way, you know, I'm sure you'll talk about Heather just a little bit also, but the way that you just took the bull by the horns and you, you made it yours and, and other people here I see in this, in, like I see the screens, they're, they're nodding also because they know, uh, they, they just know. So without further ado, uh, I'm muting myself, Carly, I'm leaving it to you and let's hear your story. Well, now I have to try not to get emotional <laughs> after I see Terry and Ari not getting emotional. But so, yes, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Carly. I am first and foremost a mom to my baby, Addison. 
Um, and ever since I became a mom, my body changed, my priorities changed, and I kind of put myself on the back burner. My health, my emotions, just, just put myself on the back burner, put Addison first, my family first. Um, <clears throat> I haven't been comfortable in my weight for some time now, but I made every excuse in the books why I couldn't work out, um, why I felt the mom guilt. And then finally, when my cousin asked me to be a bridesmaid in her wedding in Aruba in July, I said to myself, this is it. I am not spending another summer uncomfortable in my skin. I was like, I need to do something. So coincidentally, I saw Basha's uh, before and after picture on Facebook, and I was like, oh my God. I'm like, I can do this. Like, <laughs> maybe I can do this. So... <laughs> Um, one of my mom squad besties, I showed her the picture and we were both like, we're doing it. We're like, 2020 is going to be our year. We're going to do it. So we signed up, um, for the 10 week challenge. And if you would have told me a year ago that I would have done a 10 week challenge, 50 classes, I didn't miss one. Um, I would have never, ever believed you. Like that is just not me. <laughs> But now I just feel like I'm just a different person. I'm stronger mentally, physically, emotionally. Um, I just, I can't imagine not having the max as part of my life. Like, I'm so thankful that we're able to still all be together during this time because it is the only thing that is keeping me sane. Like, it's just... I, don't, I just don't know what I would do without all of you guys. And I just really want to thank Roxanne and Ari because you are the foundation of this. And it's just, it, my journey is so precious to me and I just, I can never go back. <laughs> I will never go back. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Carly. Thank you for, for sharing your story. And again, I hope that these words, whether it's Colleen's, Carly's, someone from Team Flemington, something here um, that you're gonna hear, remember it, okay? Even write it down. You know, I can't see if you have pens and paper right there, but grab one and write something down if you hear something that, that strikes a chord with you. Um, and again, let that be the first shovel full of coal to your fire come Monday, because come Monday, we're in it. We're in it and we're going and we're not gonna stop. All right, so uh, that is number two, rounding out our member testimonials. Uh, she's right down there on my screen. We have Maritza. So, Marita, I'm going to unmute you real quick. Uh, Marita, and you have Ruth here, who has been your instructor for the, basically the duration, there you go, she's clapping it up for you, yeah. um, of, of your challenge. Uh, I've had the pleasure of being there with you at five, not only a couple times, um, not only as, you know, taking the class with you, but also as, as your instructor. And whether I've heard it from Ruth or I've seen it with my own two eyes, um, like level 10, times a thousand like you you put everything you have everything that you are into everything that you do and I know that doesn't just happen at the center I know you take that mentality out there with you when you make the world a better place um so that being said no pressure no pressure at all that being said <laughs> um tell me how your experience has been since you first started at the max and what'd you you know what'd you take away so far um I've taken so much away from the Max. I have, so I learned about the Max randomly. I had heard about it, but knew nothing about it. Um, and then I lucked out and won a five week challenge through one of my children's school fundraisers. And I'm kind of a gym junkie. I've always loved working out but have always struggled with finding the right times, the right gyms that offer the right times. And I learned that the Max of Flemington offered 5 a.m. classes. So I was psyched. I made my call. I called you and Roxanne. I spoke with you both, Ari. And um, I immediately set up my first class. This was back in December. Um, December 30th was my first class. I started my first 10 week challenge, my only 10 week challenge so far. Um, and I was really excited and enthusiastic. I've, I've been athletic. I played soccer all my life, um, but injuries forced me to hang my cleats up. And um, about four years ago, I, I stopped playing soccer and that was a big hit for me. Um, I wasn't, 
as motivated to work out. I wasn't working out as often. I was pushing myself a little bit, but not as much as instructors tend to push me. And, um, and I began eating more and, and I've always eaten healthy, but never with portion control. Um, and I was definitely indulging more often than I ever did before. I saw my weight growing. Um, I wasn't happy in my body. I wasn't feeling strong anymore four years later. Um, I probably gained about 15 to 20 pounds extra and I had no muscle tone anymore. Um, I came to the max. I made that first appointment. I walked into my first class. Kathleen was actually subbing for Ruth that day. I walked in and felt immediately at home and comfortable. People were high-fiving me back when we could high-five um, and encouraging me and motivating me. And they didn't even know me yet. You know, um, I loved the workout that first day. It was a cardio day and I'm kind of a cardio junkie. Um, and I was sore for probably three or four days afterwards, but it was a good sore. It was a, oh my goodness, my body actually worked, but I, I worked muscles I hadn't worked in a while. Um, and that felt good. And I like a cardio challenge. I like, um, I like that I get a workout, a different workout every day at the max. Um, other gyms don't offer that. They offer the same cardio routines and um, I'm very motivated by the instructors at Max of Flemington. Um, Ruth has been amazing. Basha, I've had Basha's classes a few times and she pushes me. I, I'll never forget walking into one of Basha's classes and saying, I, if I do this, I might look like that one day, <laughs> you know? Um, Ari and Roxanne, just my first phone call with you guys, you were so enthusiastic. You were just as enthusiastic about me starting as I was to start a new routine. Um, I've, I've gotten so much out of this. Um, and I, there are so many things I love about the Max. I love um, the availability of you and Roxanne for any questions and concerns that we have um, about nutrition, about you know, muscle soreness, about anything like that. Um, I love the, the times of the classes. I am an early riser. I, I take my 5 a.m. classes very seriously. It's my time of the day uh, before my children get up. And, and um, so I love doing those early 5 a.m. classes with, with the freaks, the 5 a.m. freaks. Um, I love that there's a different workout every day. I love the, um, I love strength training days, even though I never did before. I understand the importance of those days now versus just cardio, cardio, cardio. Um, I love that nutrition is such a huge part of the Mac. Um, I've always eaten healthy, but I've never eaten the right portion sizes or the the right times of day to eat the right foods to optimize my results. Uh, so that's new to me. And I, I love that I now have the tools to do that. Um, I love everything. I love the instructors. Um, and yeah, I love that, that everyone there, the friends I've made have pushed me and motivated me um, Alana, you're one of them. Alana and Lynn and um, Devin in the 5 a.m. class and all the 5 a.m. friends that I've made. Um, and now I'm making more friends because I'm now doing other classes that are available. Thank you guys. Other classes are now available um, for Zooming, which I've been doing Zooming and I've been doing the pre-recorded. I'm doing sometimes twice a day that it's even available to do that. Um, I'm trying, I'm trying, you know, there's always room for improvement. I love the 1% better than yesterday motto that you guys are always, always saying, because I really do believe it's true. You know, you're there to work out and you're, 
you just want to get better and stronger and more fit. Um, I feel so much healthier since I've been at the max. I do. I've lost weight. I've lost inches. I'm eating better. I'm feeling better. I'm happier. Um, yeah. So what started out as just a, I hope I can lose weight and get back in shape goal has really been so much more than that for me. And I thank you guys for that. It really, it means the world to me and I can't wait to start this next challenge. Um, I know someone else mentioned before push-ups as their goal. I, my, one of my goals is to do um, on my toe push-ups. I'm still doing the modified on my knees. And my goal for the next challenge is to start doing full push-ups. And, uh, and I know I'll get there. So thank you guys. Thank you for constantly supporting and pushing and motivating me. And uh, I'll see you on the mat. Great. Marisa, thank you so much. I want everyone to clap it up for Marisa. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so what I hope that you took away just from the, the few stories that you heard, and again, these are all, it's several stories because you know the stories that my team shared with you guys, it's meant to inspire um, because they inspire my mom and I uh, every day. So these are, these are several stories from, from one center in one county in one state in the country. Um, milestones like this are happening. They're happening all, all around us. Um, stories of inspiration, people overcoming that adversity that I talked about, um, I talked about before. It's so, so important to, to focus on that, not just, the, not just the storm, because it's easy to get lost in that storm like I talked about before, but we gotta learn how to find that ray of sunshine afterwards, find that ray of sunshine and um, and learn to dance in the rain. That's really what it boils down to, learning to dance in that rain and making the best out of a bad situation. So from here, real quick, I just wanna talk a little bit about, um, now cycling back a little, uh, the max as a whole, and now what we are going into this next 10 week challenge. Um, so at our core, and a lot, a lot of people already know this, that the max, we're gonna combine over the next 10 weeks, the absolute best in virtual fitness classes live and on demand so that they're going to fit your schedule okay nutritional counseling that in, that like encompasses online resources that can be gone over with many different people at many different times via many different platforms whether that's zoom right here whether that's phone email text again we want to be here as a resource and it's not just me and it's not just my mom and it's not just the team here it's the members here who have been through it who have found success you know, follow in the footsteps of that success. And if you ask a question in that secret group, once you're in there, you're gonna get answers. You're gonna get a lot of answers, um, a lot. And, and that's, that's what makes this whole thing a family. That's, what, um, that's that added resource that it brings. It's, um, and again, for those of you, I'll, I'll talk a little bit just about the nutrition, just the very, you know, I'll talk basically the preview instead of the movie itself. But it's, it's focused on three principles. It's the right types of foods, right portions, and the right times, like, like a lot of the people here who spoke, um, not me, have, have alluded to. And following those three R's, um, using the ingredients that you have in your home, it's whole clean eating, it's, it's nothing that you have to go to specialty food stores for, it's everything that you should have in your house. Uh, we're gonna give you, and, and even if we have to play chopped, and even if you have to text us and say, I have this, this, and this, and what do I do? Okay, everybody's doing the same thing. Everybody's doing that same thing, so again, Follow in the footsteps of somebody else's success, okay? If you're going to make the, the vegan lasagna like Brett made that inspired Terry to make it next week, and Robert, I want a review from you next week on what you think about it. Um, wait, okay, good. Um, if you don't have some of the ingredients, it's okay. We can switch and we can pivot. That's what this whole thing is. It's all about modifying, modifying to your level 10 fitness, to your level 10 nutrition with what you guys have, okay? And I see a lot of you here that, that didn't have a chance to speak today. I see Beth. Marcy, Amanda, Jen, Jill, all of you here have done absolutely incredible things here. Janet, I see you, Janet. Everyone here has done absolutely incredible things from start to finish. Susan, like you, you guys don't realize the effect that you have on other people fully and truly because the way that you push yourselves, and I see some of you nodding your heads already, the way that you push yourselves without even realizing what you do, it pushes somebody else. And if not anybody else, it pushes me. Whether I'm there, whether I hear about it, it motivates me to continue pushing. 
Okay. And in turn, I hope I can take that motivation, give it to my team so that we can all continue pushing together towards one goal. It's different for everybody, but it's one common goal. It's to get better. It's to get stronger. And like Manita said, it's, it's to be 1% better tomorrow than you are right here. So come Monday, it's to be 1% better than you were on Sunday. And we're going to tackle that by pushing you to your level 10 at your level 10 modification, all right? Your level 10 intensity by giving you the right resources and tools to eat the right way, to fuel your body with the right type of fuel so you can rev that engine as much as you can, all right? And you're going to start to look how you feel once we follow the nutrition with the fitness. One hand kind of washes the other. One hand washes the other. Um, and again, giving you that gift of that one smile, at least, at least. I'm hoping for more than that, but I'm going to say at least. I'll set the, the basement right there. At least one smile every single day because that is priceless. And my challenge for you guys, because it is the max challenge, um, it's to take that one smile. Cheesy, I know, but it, I had to. Um, to take that one smile and to turn around and give it to somebody else. And it doesn't matter whether you give it to somebody else in your home and it's a physical, literal smile that you're transferring to somebody else. It doesn't matter if that's over Facebook or over Instagram or over some social media platform, but if you can make somebody else feel good, it makes you feel good. It feels good to feel good. Uh, and that's what you got to remember going in, going into all this, that it's, it's different and it's going to be different because it's not a week one, day one conventional. It's a week one, day one virtual, but there is no reason why we can't push ourselves from the comfort of your own home. There's no reason why you can't social distance and sweat. There's no reason why those two things can't match. There's absolutely no reason. Show me the science. All I say is show me the science. There's no reason. Um, continue to get better. Continue to get stronger. Continue to push yourselves beyond even the limits that you set for yourself. All right. If you have an idea in your head of a mountain that you want to climb, I promise by the end of week 10, you're going to find that mountain or maybe a different one. We're going to climb that one and then let's find another one in the distance. Okay. And everybody here, everybody on this chat, all the 300 plus people that we have in our secret group, the 30 plus thousand people that we have in our national max challenge group, they're here for you. They're here for you. And I, you know, I've, I've asked questions in that national max challenge group with the 30 K plus people in it. And people have responded to me and made me feel like family. And this was again, my, my first challenge. I wasn't, you know, when I was just a member, um, they made me feel like I was at home. It, it, may, it feels like home. Um, and, and that's kind of the, the crux of this whole thing and the core of, of um, what myself, my mom, Basha, Brett, Ruth, Kathleen, Jess, Terry, that's, that's what we're here to do. We're here to show you that um, there's a second home out there. And for those 45 minutes a day, let everything else in your mind just melt away. For 45 minutes, for 4% of your day, 4%. And things about the, think about the things that we do that can take up those 45 minutes, okay? You get those back and use them to the best way that you can. Use them to be the best version of yourself. Take them, and I'm going to use the term selfish, but please don't take it as a, as a negative, with a negative connotation. Be selfish for 45 minutes. Devote 45 minutes to making yourself the priority so that you can then turn and give that positivity to someone else. You fill up that cup so it's overflowing so you can turn and pour it out for other people as you go about the rest of your day. That's what this place means. That's what it means. It's to give you that energy, to give you the motivation, okay, to give you the confidence that you can. Because whether, this, whether you haven't taken one day yet and Monday will be your first day, whether Monday is your 51st day, your 101st day, okay, or some of the faces I see here, Joanne, Beth, Diane, Marcy, who have been here for a year plus, Okay, who are even coming up approaching a two year max anniversary. Treat it like it's the first day. Treat it like you have that same energy, that same fire as if it was the first day of the rest of your life. Because it is. It is. And we're going to take these next 10 weeks and we're going to get better and we're going to get stronger and we're going to improve. And we're all going to be from the comfort of your own home. So the second the class is over, you can sit right on the couch because it's like right there. Okay. Or you can go and grab a sip of water because the kitchen is like right, kitchen's like right there. But it's, it's all right here at your disposal. There's no reason why you can't get into your living room, flip open that, that computer or that phone, prop it up, and let's go. Let's go. That's it. It's just let's start with a job. And you sign in on Monday, any one of those three classes that we have on Monday, and that's your first step. That's that one step that you're going to take. That's your extra 1% that day. It's taking that first step. And I hope that you get inspired. And I hope that you get motivated. Not, not from me. Not from me. The other people that are going to be there with you. 
okay? Don't even worry about, I'm not even gonna worry about myself. I'm not even here. Focus on the other people. I'm just talking, I'm just giving you instruction. But look at the other people as you're working out. Look at the other people even in this chat. If you have a gallery view, you can see all the little, all the little dots and all the little screens of everybody. This is your Max family. This is a group of people that's gonna push you, that's gonna motivate you, that's gonna make you feel good over the next 10 weeks, all right? And get you to a place where you didn't even think you could be, okay? Um, real quick, I wanna give you guys, for anyone that's brand new here, um, again, I wanna say welcome. Again, these people are gonna become very close to you, um, social distancing wise, virtually, uh, over the next, I have to, so over the next 10 weeks. Um, but I wanna give you guys our phone number in case you have questions, okay? You have our Facebook page, um, you can friend me or my mom on Facebook, uh, but our phone number 908-751-7123. Okay, we are all home. A lot of people are telecommuting to work. A lot of kids and families are home. We're all together, okay? There's no reason. There's no reason why not to do it now. There's absolutely no reason. And, and again, so for, for Ruth, um, you're in Florida right now, yes? So look at that, okay? I'm in New Jersey, she's in Florida. There's no reason why people across the country can't get motivated, can't push themselves, okay? Joanne, I think your son and daughter are in here as well. I think I see their, their little screen, there you go. So, um, and, it, and your daughter's in California and your son is in Chicago. Okay, so that's gonna be the thing that I leave you with. There's no reason why now we can't take what we've done in Flemington and inspire people across the country. And that is special, that is so rare to be able to do that and we're in a position now to do it let's dance in the rain let's get stronger and let's get better okay so on on that note i'm actually going to unmute all of you so we're all going to be able to hear everybody um, um okay, so we're all oh. uh, i want to say oh. thank you to each and every one of you thank i want to say Aaron. thank you for taking the time on a saturday um when it's time to unwind and and, and be with family uh to be here for for an hour hi robert to be here for now. Um, Hi, Robert. This is Bye, such Bob. a special group of people. Bye. And, and I'm just excited Courtney. to spend the next 10 weeks with you guys. Hope you're going to be joining us, Courtney. Ruth, we miss you. Oh. Miss you guys, too. So my mom had to run out to take a phone call, but um, she oh. sends her love. I send mine, and I can't wait to spend the next 10 weeks with you guys. All right, give us a call if you need. But thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. I hope you got inspired. All right, and let's make the next 10 weeks the best 10 weeks. There's no reason why we can't. There's absolutely no reason. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for being here. Way to go. Thank you guys for being here so, so much. Thanks, Ari. Take it to the max. Take it to the max. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Everybody put your hand towards the camera. Everybody put your hand towards the camera. Oh, I need a manicure. Courtney, Marcy, everybody put your hand towards the camera. When I say three, everybody here say, take it to the max as loud as you can, as loud as you can. One, two, three. Take it to the max. I want to do that until you close out of Saturday. Thank you guys for being here. I'll hopefully see you guys on Monday. Let's have a great rest of your weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy, everybody. All right. Bye, Sarah. Sorry. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Miss you guys. Bye. I miss everybody so much. Bye, boys. Take care of yourself, okay? Stay healthy, everyone. Hi, Basha. Hi, Don't go to the store. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Stay home. Bye, Bye Anna. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Bye -bye. Hey, bye. I miss you guys. Hey, Jess. It's Robert. <laughs> it's Robert and Terry. Hey. I miss my crew. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, miss I miss Jess. I miss you too. I miss you guys. I really do. Yeah. Aww. That's the worst yeah. part of it is missing everybody. It is. Yeah. 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 It is. Definitely. Those conversations we have. <laughs> yeah, but some of us are, some of us are stuck in the sunshine and some of us are stuck in this shit. Yeah. 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 Actually my daughter's coming today, um, tonight. I'm uh -huh. I'm grilling her vegetables because she's vegan. Um so we're, I'm doing a whole Ooh. thing. But I don't want to post it because I don't want people running out to the store and buying vegetables. So I had them in the house. You I haven't have them delivered. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't want people that are sick that don't know it yet to be cooking my food. Exactly. Oh, my husband was trying to convince me to get some, some cod that they had here because they're still cooking here and leaving it out so you can pick it up. I'm like, no, I'm sorry, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get it. 
I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting off. All right, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, friends. Be in touch. Yeah. Okay, you too.